the young heirs of untold fortunes turned their parents' lives into hell. Oh, how tired I am of this. It's like he's a Money god. is her only interest. Children spend large sums while completely ignoring their parents. Get out of my room. A reality show where Hell's child is re-educated and comes to the rescue of discouraged adults. Are you happy, Dad? What will happen to spoiled children in ordinary families? Watch it right now. The Golden Cage opens. Our program received another call for help, this time from the Strish family from Soki. Hello. Hello, we are Lisa Strish's parents and we ask you to accept Lisa into your program because we no longer know how to deal with her. She has access to an unlimited credit card, an apartment in Nizhny Novgorod, an apartment in Moscow and a house in Soki. She spends money and enjoys her time. And she only cares about herself, her video shooting, makeup and nails. Nothing besides that. We want her to experience a different life, how other children and other families live. Lisa Strish is 16 years old. Lisa is in ninth grade. I am the only child in the family. I have all their attention, meaning I am the center of the universe. And most importantly, all the money is spent only on me. Three years ago, the parents had to transfer their daughter to homeschooling. Lisa did not get along with her classmates. Her outlook, trendy outfits, gadgets and travel caused jealousy and irritation. If I want to sleep, I'll go to bed. If I don't do my homework, it's okay, I mean. Why do I need to know how to calculate X and Y? To keep her grades up, her parents hired tutors for her. It costs the Strish family 100,000 rubles a month. We have a huge house. We gave her a large office equipped with the latest technology. We hire the best tutors. It costs us a lot of money, but she doesn't do her homework or she just falls asleep in class. We think we're doing the best for her, but in the end, her demands only keep getting bigger and bigger. Lisa's mother, Ekaterina Strij, runs her own cosmetic line of hair care products. Her father also has a business in the beauty industry. Vadim Strij owns 10 studios in different cities. I'm an entrepreneur. I have beauty salons and I also train hairdressers and sell hair cosmetics all over Russia and the world. We live in three cities, Nintini Novgorod, Moscow and Sochi. Moscow has a very favourable business environment and Sochi has a pleasant weather. While the Strij family is in Moscow, they live in a five-room apartment in the city's historical centre. And from their apartment in native Nizhny Novgorod, you can see the beautiful view of Oka and Volga River's confluence. No matter what city she wakes up in, Lisa's morning begins the same way, at noon. She believes that a night of long sleep is the key to her beauty. Are you going to wake up today? Can I not? Waking up Lisa is only half the battle. Her parents will have to wait for their daughter to give herself a facial massage. Following that, Lisa will start scrolling through her social network's feeds while counting the likes on her pages. Lisa is a TikTok star with 8 million followers. On her personal pages, Lisa talks about herself and explores different trends, outfits and makeup. Well, will you have breakfast or yeah, not? Yeah, I'm coming. Are you on the phone again? My whole life is about videos. I try to shoot as much of those as possible. This is my calling. I am glamorous. My nails are long and flashy. And my mother constantly criticizes them. Makeup is a necessity. I'll never even go down to breakfast with my parents without putting on my makeup. So where is Lisa? Lisa, as always, is doing her makeup. She puts her interests ahead of her parents, and I have a feeling she does it on purpose. 
I spend a lot of my money on cosmetics. In total, I have in all cities about 200,000 rupees worth of cosmetics. Maybe even 300. Well, I'm not skinny, but I look great. Lisa pays a great deal of attention to her appearance, but when it comes to paying attention to the cleanliness of her room, that's the least of her worries. Of course, we wanted Lisa to have responsibilities around the house. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Why should I do anything and waste my time on it if I can simply pay someone to do it? My time can be spent more productively as opposed to sweeping and washing dishes. One such productive activity is her constant wardrobe changes. This takes so much of Lisa's time to a point where she often forgets about breakfast. Why do you have these stuff scattered on the floor? Don't ruin my mood in the morning. How about you don't ruin mine? I'm not ruining yours. You came here and started shouting at me. If I want, I'll buy something new every day. My parents don't even keep track of how I spend money. I just have a card and there's so much money on it. What's the problem there? Yes, we live in three cities and she has a large wardrobe in each of them. Yes, she can go and buy what she wants at any time. This money has to be earned. Lisa's father dreams of having family breakfasts together, but his wishes are not on his daughter's priority list. Lisa, what took you so long? I was doing my makeup. For a 16-year-old, she spends a lot of time on her appearance. You know, I don't go downstairs before I put on my makeup. Well, your mother called you. Lisa, here are the eggs, just as you like. I usually eat at restaurants and cafes. Actually, I have mum and food delivery. Now, Lisa is on a diet and a nutritionist chooses her food. As for rides in the convertible, that choice is Lisa's. Her personal driver is ready to go anywhere almost at any time. Lisa goes to her dad's beauty salon every day, where only professionals take care of the child from hell's hair. Both my parents have business in the cosmetics industry, so my hair is always in perfect condition. Dad constantly picks up masks and oils for me, so that my hair looks impeccable and not like Hagrid's beard. I relax and enjoy my time while getting pampered. Lisa has a boyfriend, Sergei Laskin. They have been dating for two years, and they have a lot in common. Sergei is also on social media, and he comes from a wealthy family. His father works in construction, and his mother in trade. Sergei is 19 years old. He studies management at the Lobachevsku University. She is moody and demanding, but I can meet her whims. Well, these are flowers, expensive gifts, expensive jewellery. We don't wear regular clothes. We only wear expensive brands. We like to ride convertibles, yachts and shoot TikTok videos. Lisa and Sergei have a sea trip on their schedule today. They shoot videos for their social media pages while on the yacht. Generally, it's good that the two of us are from wealthy families and have not been denied a thing since we were children. But I also want her to find a life goal for herself. I get everything I want. It should always be like this. Everyone would love to have what I have, but unfortunately, not everyone does. Things worked for me and I'm happy. Lisa needs to be on top of all that is trending. So, when acting and vocal lessons are popular, she takes them. And her parents pay 20,000 rubles for every session. I only need positive affirmations from you now. Just say, wow, Betty Butter bought some butter. Can you imagine? But she said the butter is bitter. If I put it on my batter, it will make my batter bitter. I want her to experience challenges. For example, instead of having avocado and red fish for breakfast, she eats whatever she gets offered. It was not easy for the parents to convince the child to take part in the project. She agreed to it because she believed she will get content for her social media accounts. I'm going to die there. They won't feed me. They will force me to wash dishes. Can I not? The social media experiment for the 16-year-old daughter of the millionaire Strij family from Soki starts now.
Lisa Strij will spend four days in the village of Razbitui Koto, where a completely different life awaits her. The village of Razbitui Kotul is 20 kilometers away from Soki. This is where the Leontiel family of 10 live. The dad, mum and eight children. The house has four rooms with one bathroom and a toilet. Natalia, the mother, is 35 years old. She works at construction sites as a cleaner, which brings the family about 20,000 rubles a month. Sergei, the father, is 52. He is an electrician and builder. Sergei owns about 70,000 rubles a month. A courteous, decent family, where everyone greets each other with respect and discipline. That's how it should be. The eldest daughter, Lyra, is 17 years old. She is a first-year student at a culinary college and she dreams of becoming a pastry chef. Lyra has three brothers and four sisters. Vitali, 50, Vlada, 40, Victoria, 30, Veronica, 11, Ilya, 8, Nikita, 7 and Zlata, 5. The Leontiuls have an animal shelter with more than 100 pets on their land. People hurt them and then throw them away, and I think that's cruel. Natalia takes care of cats and dogs by treating, feeding and grooming them. Her older children help her. Sometimes the Leontiuls take animals to foster care. This brings the family an additional 15,000 rubles a month. I don't see it, but I see you. We are a very hospitable family. We love to socialize. In the next four days, the Leontiu's large family from the Rabitztiu Kotel will be hosting the daughter of Strij millionaires from Soki, Lisa Strij. We can't have enough children. We decided to have another one. Honestly, I don't know what this child will be like. I'm hoping it'll be a boy, maybe around 14 to 15 years old. We would live in the same room with him. He is a millionaire and I am a simpleton. Okay, that's enough. But this is a totally different project for the Leontios, who will help the child of millionaires from Soki to experience a completely different life filled with challenges. Lyra decided to bake a gingerbread house as a gift for the new family member. This gingerbread is the family. It stands for love and friendship. It's like our little house, a small house and a big family. Soon Lisa will see both the gingerbread house and the real Leontiu house in Lasbitiu Kotel. TikTok star got all ready to meet the new family. She chose an outfit that her followers on social media gave a thousand likes. Poop is good luck. God, why do I need so many things? I just thought about it now. I'm like, what? Come on in, gently, gently. Children in the Leontiu family, like many teenagers today, also are on social networks. It turned out that the girls already know and follow blogger Lisa Streich. Maybe I can help with your suitcases. Is it that rich girl? Please help me. I wanted to do it right away. Thank you very much. Sergey, nice to meet you. Lisa. That's some makeup. Well, she is definitely different. What surprised me the most was that there was eight children and a lot of dogs. Everyone was staring at me. When I first saw Lisa, I was blown away, to put it mildly, because I recognized who she was from her dress. I was in shock. Hi. Hello. You're a little shocked, probably, but we've been waiting for you. She stands out. Mostly the hair, the eyes and the suitcase are what caught my attention the moment she arrived. And her eyes when she saw where she had arrived. Come on, we'll show you around. It's not that scary here. I saw the house and realized that I'd never seen such a thing in my life. 
Everything I have is luxurious, cool and beautiful. We've prepared a little present for you. I didn't get anything. What a bad guest. Ugh. She was pleased, obviously. She looked at it for a long time. Lisa also received gifts from other Leontu children. Now she has to memorize the names of all the members of the host family from Rabiztiu Kotl. My name is Sergi. I am the head of the family. Natasha? Natasha, our mum. Vika and us, we are your fans. The three of us. We go all the way. I am Zlata. This is Nikita. I am Lera. I am Ilya. By the time Lisa arrived, Leontius had renovated her future room and bought bed linen for her. You sleep right here. We were really waiting for you, honestly. We are all set. This is my bed? Yes. Well, that's where you're, um... Do you have any slippers? Oh, my girl, I prepared for this. Here you go, change your shoes, don't be shy, because we still have to live together. Then I did a tour around the house. Obviously, she was shocked about all of this, but she did not show her disdain. I have a bigger house. Well, don't worry. Yes, and bigger beds. Cold water? Do you wash here? Yes. But is there hot water? Yes. Why is the mirror cracked? Because we have washed it. The only thing I liked was nothing. For four days, TikTok star Lisa Strige will have to live with the largely onto your family and get used to new rules and conditions. What kind of horror is this? I stepped into something. I want to go home. I want to go to my mum. I want to be somewhere warm. Lisa Strige will have to find out what this large family eats. According to the experiment's rules, the Leontius will offer the Soki millionaire's daughter their usual foods instead of the fancy meal she is used to. Come on, sit down. We're going to eat borched now. Borched? Yes, I'm on a diet. And eating borched in the evening is just... I don't think this is right, because a person should eat. It's the healthiest option. What could be healthier than borched? Lisa's diet is influenced by what's trending. The nutritionist adjusts her diet plan on a daily basis. She has a normal finger. She just makes it up. Let's burn all the calories now. Today is borched and tomorrow we'll cook what you want all together. And how are we going to burn calories? When the dogs run out of the cages, you understand. Can I sit there? It's just that it's so high I'm afraid to fall over the soup. Thanks. Would you like to have some juice? Lyra, what do you do? At the moment, I'm studying about the trade in technology college to become a pastry chef. Prize winner of the region in judo. Yes. Almost everyone in our family is an athlete, right? You won't beat me. No, we won't. Even in a new environment, Lisa does forgo her habits. She starts shooting content for her social media. Do you always take pictures when you eat? Often. It's just that when we eat in our family, we don't use our phones. Well, I'll finish shooting and put it away. I won't take long. Lisa, let's agree that while you're visiting us, we'll talk with each other, okay? You understand that it's actually fun without a phone. According to the project's rules, Lisa needs to do what the older children in the Leontiu family do. Every day after dinner, they go to the shelter. The children help out in feeding and treating the animals. Lisa changed her clothes before going to the shelter. Guys, I don't know how I'm going to stay here because it stinks of dog poop. I don't know how. Can I stay out here? Come in, don't be afraid. There's poop in there. They all walk on the poop with their paws and they jump on me. Don't touch my dress, please. Look at it. They bite me. I was worried about Lisa because I guess it was very unpleasant for her. That's enough. 
That's enough. I can't. They're jumping on me. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Lisa, of course, is not used to this. Well, she probably had no idea these things exist. Lisa thought they wanted to eat her, and of course, poop, of course it's there. I don't understand. I'm covered in poop. My arms and legs are all covered in poop. I don't understand how they can stay here. I don't want to smell like shit. The girl is spoiled to the core. The 16-year-old daughter of Soki millionaires will have to get accustomed to the lifestyle of the Leontius from Ratbitu Kotl. How will I wash it all? Now come on, calm down. I'll bring you a basin of water and you'll wash your feet. Of course, this is shock content, as she calls it. A basin and soap? Yes. I've got That's poop lit. all over my dress. Basin saved the Leontius large family from standing in queues in front of the bathroom. Take the basin, pour it out, and let's have some tea. In the evening, Mother Natalia and Father Sergi decide to ask Lisa some questions. What do you usually prefer to have for breakfast? For breakfast, I usually eat sandwiches with whole grain bread avocado and redfish. I love redfish. Well, how about something simpler? Granola with yogurt and fruits. I don't know what granola is. I think we'll put it on our grocery list and go tomorrow morning to look for the food she likes. I just want the child to be comfortable. Well, tomorrow is a new day, so let's go to sleep and rest. Come on, I'll put you to bed. What is this? Clothes. You're not at home. Can you put them on somewhere else? Put them in your suitcase, please. Well, I'm sorry. I just needed to choose an outfit before meeting the dogs. You could have picked something simpler, and you could have done that on your bed. Do you see something simpler in here? It's unacceptable. Do this on your own bed and not on mine. By the way, I forgot my toothbrush. We can go buy one tomorrow. There is a store nearby. And how will I brush my teeth tonight? How will I brush my teeth in the morning? Well, I don't know. In such situations, people usually clean their teeth with their fingers. The first day of Lisa Strees, the daughter of Soki Millionaire's rehabilitation journey at the Leontiu family from Rasbitiu Kotl is coming to an end. I was nervous, I was worried, but then, surprisingly, things got interesting. For Lisa to fall asleep peacefully at her new place, Natalia brought her a kitten. But Lisa doesn't have the strength to worry after a day packed with new impressions. For the first time, the TikTok star fell asleep without scrolling through her social media accounts. The second day of the rehabilitation of 16-year-old daughter of Soki Millionaire starts now. Lisa Strij must follow the daily routine of the Leontiu family from Rosbitiu Kotl. Here, the morning begins at 7 o'clock. Lisa, are you going to get up? It's time. Everyone is already having breakfast. Come on, hurry up. Lisa? She was woken up five times by everybody. If you don't get up, you'll be making your own breakfast. I'll prepare it myself. What have you prepared for me? If you're going to be such a nag, I can do without the breakfast. Lisa, get up. It's morning already. Look, the sun is shining and you're still sleeping. Come on, come on, get up. I don't want to get up. Lisa, get up. Lisa, we're almost out of sandwiches. Are you coming? Can you stop shouting? I want to get up normally. Everyone should have been up an hour ago. They were screaming. They all speak loudly. Lisa, we kind of have a lot of work today. We have to go to work to help mum. That is why everyone is already awake and Almost waiting everyone has already I don't eaten. understand why you are so loud. Oh yes, by the way, we bought groceries. Who's going to make you breakfast? I don't know where to unpack the bags. The Leontiu family managed to wake Lisa up, but she will only come out for breakfast after doing her makeup. 
Lisa, damn, what the hell? How much longer do we have to wait? Another half hour is Why are you shouting at me? I'm not shouting at you. I'm frustrated with the whole situation. Hurry I'm up. not going out until my makeup is done. Hurry up then. How about you try putting on makeup like me? I know that if, for example, the eldest needs to make her eyebrows, wherever I am, she will call me and say, Dad, can I make my eyebrows? Should I cut the fish or will you do it yourself? Cut it. And what are you going to do then? I'll finish my makeup and come. We overslept and then... Come on, Aunt Natasha. Cut the fish. Wow. Fish is just great. You offered to do that. Why did you offer then? They didn't let me sleep or do my makeup. Nothing. Come on, faster, faster, hurry up. I haven't done my lashes yet. Eyelashes? Eyelashes? Are you kidding me? It's almost noon. I'm going to lose my job because of you. I'll be fired. Well, go to work without no, me. No, no, no. Finally, the village kitchen attendant's look is complete. Now Lisa is ready to have breakfast. Oh, finally. Good morning. Thanks, thanks. Well, have a seat, please. The day before, Lisa ordered food for herself. She will now use it to prepare breakfast. Mum and Dad bought her what she wanted, red fish and bread. For a person to feel at home in a new environment, you can come out the way you want and go out the way you want. Well, obviously she needed to do something that is familiar to her. This avocado is very hard. I'm not going to eat that. Well, then you'll go to work hungry. The avocado was not ripe. Thank you very much. Well, have some bread then. And let's hit the road, because we've already eaten. And yes, don't forget to clean the table and wash the dishes. I don't do such chores, so I'm not doing the dishes. If you live under our roof, you'll follow our rules, so you need to clear the table and wash the dishes. At the Leontius from Razbitiu Kotl, both adults and children are used to cleaning up after themselves. Lisa must obey the family rule. Vlada decided to help her. I never wash dishes or clean at home. I never do any housework. You have to get used to being independent. Try to do something yourself because your mum won't be around all your life. You probably understand this perfectly well. Lisa Strige is washing her plate for the first time in her life. There are other challenges ahead for the daughter of Soki millionaires. Today, Natalia needs to go to work to clean up at the construction site. The older daughters will go with her to help in finishing the work faster. Lisa goes with the girls. Let's go. Won't it break? Don't worry, you won't fall. We'll catch you. Will you hold me? A person has to do something with their own hands. Life is like that. You don't know what is coming around the corner. Lisa is sure that she will not have to clean in the future, so she decided to observe how others do it. I'll take a look and then I'll start. Well, you can pick up all the garbage and move it to the pile over there. I'm afraid I'll get a splinter. Let's shoot a story with you instead. You know what? Let's all shoot the story together later, but first we'll clean up a little. And then we'll show you how well we did it. I'm afraid I'll get a splinter. You'll get more splinters on your butt now, my love. Okay, teach me how to sweep with a broom. Lisa? Construction stuff. Don't break it. You're doing pretty well, Liz. For the first time, you're doing fine. For some reason, the lifestyle has made my heels and palms harden. It's just my nose is still clogged with dust. We're like, we can even do this with your hands. We have gloves so you don't have to touch anything with your hands. What are we going to put the garbage in? Look, there's a bucket here for you. With my hands? Yes, you are wearing gloves. They got holes in them. Well, did you make the holes? I have nails. How am I going to work with them without the holes? So, you could have put them on. I have dust in my throat water. and my palms are sweating. Can we go already? Okay. Working together, they finished cleaning at Natalia's construction site and they recorded a video for Lisa's social media accounts. Then they took me to the sea to do some boxing. The Leontius' eldest daughters, Vlada and Lyra, have been boxing for two years. Today they have a private lesson. 
After learning about the project, the coach allowed Lisa to practice with the girls. I didn't like it. Okay, they might enjoy it, but I didn't. I broke a nail there. To make things worse, it didn't happen when we fought with our fists, but when we threw the weight ball, it was painful. What is it? It was so pretty. I'm tired of this sport, completely tired of it. I didn't like it when Lisa freaked out and left. I believe if you start something, you finish it no matter what. It's all okay. Yes, the most important thing is that your hand is okay. The hand is okay and your nail will grow back. Let's go. Here, hold the ball. You won't break anything carrying it. Here you go, Vlada. Lisa, are you coming? I'm coming. Left, right. Lisa, come on, join us. Come on, try. It turned out that a broken nail was not a valid reason to stop training, so Lisa must return. After warming up with the weighted balls, Vlada and Lyra switched to practicing punches in gloves. Lisa's long nails also were not an excuse for the coach to stop training, so she also had to box. Ah, how it hurts. For Lisa to continue the lesson, the coach decided to have another warm-up. I don't want to work out. Leave me alone. Get up, it's okay, it's just a warm-up. The stones also sting of poop. Why does it smell like poop everywhere? Because dogs and cats pee where they're lying. If you start whining, Lyra and I will throw you over there. I weigh more than both of you together. You can't carry me. And the fact you weigh more does not mean that you have more muscle mass. So, it's muscles. You can't lift me. After training, the Leontiu sisters and Lisa head back home. Are you going to have lunch? We work so hard. Yes, we have borscht now. I agree. I won't have borscht. In this case, Lisa will have to cook her own food. As an alternative, Natalia suggested that the daughter of Soki millionaires chop cabbage for salad. Come on. Well, I guess we don't need to. Will you wash it? The cabbage? You need to tear this off, the upper bit. You don't wash it? No. And who prepares salads for you at home? Usually my mum does, or we order food. Do you need a big knife? And that doesn't need to be cut. Look, I'll show you now. Together with this thing? It's a stalk, yes, but the kids eat it. They like it, but it's not used in cooking. Look, you taste it like this. Where's the lemon? He didn't buy it. Of course, she doesn't know how to cut a cabbage. Well, that's why I usually don't cook and I just order. Aren't you interested in cooking to learn for yourself? You will have a child someday, a husband and the child cannot live on restaurant food. You'll have to cook. We will hire a cook. The child should learn that life will not always go the way she wants. And this social experiment will benefit Lisa by making her understand this notion better. She will learn the true meaning of the saying, you reap what you sow. It's the first salad I make in my life. The family said it was delicious. They really liked it. The cabbage, cucumbers and lemon. Everything was tasty. After lunch, Lisa decided to change her clothes and finally do her hair. She used to take care of it every day. It's a ritual. Do you have any hair masks? I didn't bring all of mine. No, honestly, we don't use hair masks. We think our hair is healthy and fine the way it is. So you're telling me you don't have a single mask? Even your mum doesn't put any? Well, you can make an egg mask. Mum does it. Where can I find eggs? Do you need to go to the store? Why should we buy eggs at the store if we have our own? Shall we go to the chicken coop with yes, all the chickens? and roosters too? The daughter of the Soki millionaires goes to the village's chicken coop for the first time in her life. Lisa theoretically knows where the eggs come from. Won't they peck me? No. Does it have to be pulled right from under them? She was running around the chicken coop trying to get an egg out of the hens.
eggs from chickens with poop? I, like a sucker, fell for it. The girls made fun of Lisa, laughed and finally showed her where to get the eggs. Well done, beautiful. They're still warm. <laughs> eggs are collected. Now Lisa will find out what a beauty salon in Arspitiu Kotal is like. You need three dozen on your head. Are you sure I won't go bald? No, it works. That's it. Let's do it like this. We smeared it on your hair. It looks like honey. Ugh, ah! Vika, bring the water. The main thing is that all the instructions on different sites said to wash it off only with cold water. Do you know what they brought? Hot water. Here's the water. Water for you. Something went wrong. It's turning white. What do you mean it's turning white? What do you mean it's turning white? Everything is fine. We overdid it with hot water and the yolk got cooked in her head. What the hell are you doing? You wanted a mask, no? We made one for you. Pull more on the back of your head, just not so much. More means closer to the back of the head. Oh, I'm drowning, that's it. Bye, I'm leaving this world. After the egg mask was cooked on her head, Lisa stopped worrying about not wearing makeup for dinner in Rasbutiu Kotal. Lisa, here's a carrot to go with the tea. Maybe you'll finally eat something normal. You're probably tired and starving after today. I guess I will eat a piece of chocolate. Good, but I'll leave it just in case. My training starts tomorrow. I can take her with me. We'll cook something together. Oh, and then cook at home? Yes. How do you feel about this? I don't know. I haven't tried this. There's something complicated here. You were able to make a salad today. Salad? Yes. We're going to call your parents today. There is already something to praise, I yes, guess. Yes, of course. A lot of things. She's wonderful. Smart girl. Wash, brush your teeth and go to bed. According to the rules of the experiment, at the end of the second day, Lisa Street's parents can finally find out which family their daughter assigned and get an update on how she is faring during this time. How do you think mum looks like? She probably has red hair. I think she's as bright and spectacular as Lisa. As for the father, I think he looks like you for some reason. Yes? For some reason. Yes, let's call yes. Let's call and find out everything. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Katra, Vadim, what are your names? Sergei, Natasha. You have a wonderful child. Well, you hold on. You have a large household, yes? Yes, a large household. We have a private dog shelter. For animals, yes, we have dogs, cats. Listen, now, I'm not sure that Lisa will come back home. She loves dogs. Yes, it's true, though she doesn't like to clean up after them. Is she helping with the housework? She helps. She has no choice. We have eight children. All are equal. Eight? <laughs> How are you managing with them? We're really doing well. Sergei and I, by the way, decided that we would send our children to you. All eight of them. All eight of them? Okay, we agree. But what are your guiding principles when it comes to raising a child? Is she your one and only? Well, yeah, she is the only one. So, of course, all of our attention and love goes to her. Tell me, is she coming off as moody? Well, she definitely can be moody, especially in the morning. I'm not wearing any makeup yet. I'm not going out. But last evening, she sat with us and drank tea while having her head wrapped up with a mask on. I guess she will soon go out without makeup on. Is she shooting TikTok videos once a day, which I think is fine. Well, thank God. It's good, that is. She's a good girl. Thank you very much. We send you our hugs. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so touching. I'm very glad. Such a cool family. Yes. I expected them to be. I thought they were different. 
Well, yeah, the mother seemed easygoing, always smiling. The dad, however, looked serious. They are outgoing. Yes, the dad was more serious, but that's well, how it should be. Well, that's why he's a father. The third day of the rehabilitation of Lisa Strige, the 16-year-old daughter of Soki millionaires in a largely onto-you family from Rasbitiu Kotal, starts now. Lisa, come on, come on, my girl, come on. We make orange juice. Lisa came out to breakfast only after she put on her special makeup. Lisa, are you going to have breakfast? I'm coming. Hurry up. We have to get ready. We have to go. Where to? I told you I have practice today. We will be taught how to cook different dishes. So I will be in a class, right? Yes. Girls, quickly, there's no time to talk. Come on, Lisa. Have a sandwich. She finally snapped today and had her sandwiches. Apparently, she's realised that you can't survive on a diet when living in a village with a lifestyle like ours. If you miss the bus now, you're going to be there on foot, so let's hurry up. A bus? Yes, a luxury bus. So we need to make more juice now. Come on. You promised to teach me, by the way. Come on. I even bought a manual juicer. I've never used a manual one. It's okay, we'll try it together now. I'll show you. Mother Natasha brought a juicer to make me feel better, and we squeezed oranges. I appreciated this act. Thanks. Let's go. After breakfast, Lisa went to class with Lyra. The Leontiu's eldest daughter is a first-year pastry chef student at the Soki Trade and Technology College. Girls went to college by bus. I think this was the first time Lisa has taken the bus. I didn't expect that. I've not met anyone who has never taken a bus. I don't like bus rides. It gets hot there. After 19 stops, the bus will take the girls to Soki, where Lisa Strige, the child of millionaires, will become a student in a culinary college. We agreed to shoot classes with the teachers in Lyra's technical shoot. Can I shoot TikTok videos? No. Why? Because you're going to be too busy to do that. No, you can't. Come on, do it like me, come on. No, we have to cook. Let's go mingle. Galina Pavlona here. Introduce yourself. Hello, hello. Lisa, nice to meet you. Do you want to become a chef? No. Do you like to eat? Yes. So we need to learn. We don't wipe our hands with our clothes. Well, you eat what you cook. The way to a man's stomach is for a delicious dish. Ukrainian borscht, navy borscht, Siberian borscht, Moscow borscht, Cuban borscht, with prunes. You'll cook delicious, delicious borscht. You make delicious borscht. If a man marries you, then realizes you are stupid as a donkey, he will leave. No. So you mean he'll be okay with you just because of borscht? Not really. You'll be cooking other delicious dishes. Hello everyone, we are cooking borscht. Lira? Huh? Why do we cook borscht and not cakes? Because borscht is nutritious. You like healthy food, right? Yes. It's a diet borscht. Can I have a baking sheet? Look at me, Lisa Strich, the waitress. Don't mess anything. I won't break anything. Or even wash the plates. Can I have a cake? Today, for the first time in her life, Lisa learned to cook under the guidance of a professional chef. But she decided to finish her culinary practice by peeling vegetables. While the TikTok star was shooting a video for social media, Lyra Leontieva cooked borscht. Well, now let's try it. Scoop it with a shared spoon. It's not salty enough for me, but all the vegetables are well cooked. What a fragrance. What does it smell like? 
Let me eat already. Lyra is a great girl. She studies and does what she likes. Cook, that's cool. After lunch, the Leontiu family decided to show Lisa their favourite resting place by the pond in the village of Rasbitiu Kotl. Traditionally, they get there on an inflatable boat. We are blessed with beautiful landscapes, and it's a sin not to admire it, but a person needs to know how to act when in a forest. So, girls, let's stop here. It's very beautiful here. You'll remember this all your life. I'm swimming away. Row, row. Look, I'm standing. Ah, oh, Vika! For the first time in her life, Lisa went on board an inflatable boat in a pond instead of her customary yacht trips in the sea. I guess Lisa had a good time because she laughed with us. It was fun, really fun. When the Leontius returned home from the hike, someone bought an abandoned puppy to their family animal shelter. Natalia immediately examines, feeds and, if necessary, provides medical assistance to all newcomers to the shelter. What happened? How can I help? I don't know. It probably ate something. Something's wrong with it. Let's give it water for now. First of all, it is important to give aid to the dog. Well, because it's a living being. I think that after being with us for a few days, Lisa realized that they are creatures with souls just like us. When they ask me, why do you do this? Here is my answer. A puppy. It's afraid, it's unaware, and it's squealing. While a person can communicate and say something, it can't. Uh-huh. I created an account for them on a social media and posted a video there. I hope the video gets shared and more people will get to help them. Lisa decided to help the Leontiu shelter. She realized that the shelter with about a hundred animals constantly needs money for food and medicine. Lisa made a video with animals and posted it on her social media. The TikTok star decided to raise awareness amongst her audience about the Leontiu shelter. Well, I think she probably got into it. Well, I've always loved animals, but I avoided them because they looked dirty and they could carry infections. I realized that there is no need to be squeamish and that I should help animals no matter what. When I came over, I didn't think you would have such a big heart. Eight children and you shelter a bunch of dogs. I've wanted a big family since I was a child. Well, you saw for yourself, yes? We help each other here. The children help me, I help them in return in any way I can. I noticed that you are all so independent. Everyone helps in solving each other's problems. That's what I miss. Maybe you have some advice? First of all, my advice will not be selfish. We are responsible for those who are close to us. A shelter is not just about feeding a dog. It's hard work. You are a great person. I appreciate what you do. I'm so glad decided to join us. I'm going to cry. Really? Thank you very much. Thank you. After treating a sick puppy, Lisa arranged a girls-only party for the Leontiu sisters. Well, are we going to do makeup, chat and dress up? How often do you buy clothes? Well, we swap outfits. Today I wear this t-shirt, jacket, tomorrow Vika will... We share everything. Even with mum. Oh, and how do you like it? Not so much. It is awesome. You get to change your look every day. Lisa considers herself a fashion and style guru, so she picked up a new look for the Leontiu sisters from the girls' wardrobe. I want to see what it looks like on someone. Wear it. Damn, seriously? When we were choosing dresses, she helped us and gave us fashion advice. She taught us how to do hairstyles and she picked up one for each of us. She made herself a high ponytail with a crown. She was a queen. She taught us some beauty hacks. Let me do makeup for one of you then. Me, me! Let's do Lyra. I was actually pleased because I usually do normal makeup. Oh, well. I don't wear makeup. 
We allow our girls to wear makeup, do the eyebrows, eyelashes, but everything within reason. Of course, wearing makeup like Lisa's every day is unacceptable in our family. So, girls, tell me about your love life. I have unrequited love, as always, forever. I'll tell Eric to take a look. You'll regret it. Shall I tell you who you love? He lives there near the store across the street. Shut up, Lyra. Everything is bad. Why? Well, I am in no need for any guy. And what happened? The guy was a jerk, that's all. And what about your dating life? My boyfriend and I have been dating for two years. Let's call him. We want to see your boyfriend. Show us your boyfriend. On the first date, she infuriated me because I thought, like everyone else, that she was some show-off. And on the third day, I liked Lisa being open with us. My love, look, we have a bachelorette party. Why don't you show up? Show yourself. I won't. I don't want to look into the camera. My name is Lada. Nice to meet you. And I'm Sergey. We know that. I'm Lyra. This is Vika. Lyra? Vika. I'm Veronica. Hi. Well, he's so cool, funny, unique, like Lisa. I've missed my boyfriend all these days. I've been sleeping in his t-shirt since the first night. I really missed him, just crazy. I'm happy we called him. <laughs> Let's take a picture. Yes, come on, did we put on makeup for nothing? So, shall we go to lunch? Let's eat. Since Lisa is always on a diet, she asked us to cook something light. Sushi. Since we have been making sushi for a very long time, we'll now give you a masterclass. How do I slice it? Let me show you. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. We don't want nails in our sushi, please. Can I get you some gloves? No thanks. Will you help me roll it? So we put everything in and then we roll it. Like this? Right, Vika? We're out of plates. Here you go. Great. That's it. Preparing today's dinner was hard. It was difficult for me because I knew that she was leaving and most likely we will not see each other again. So, are we having a farewell dinner tonight, Lisa? How hard was it for you? I enjoyed these three days, especially the last one. And I realised that you are a wonderful family. I felt good around them and they were all so kind, honest and good-hearted. You are a very kind person with a big heart. It seems to me that our whole world will fit in your heart. Thank you, my gal. We're very glad that it was you who stayed with us. I think we were a good influence on Lisa, but she also did a great job. If she remained closed off and did not open up to us, of course, no change in her character would have taken place. Sergei, you are very positive, honest and cheerful, and that's amazing. Lyra! Lyra! What, Lisa? You are a sweetheart. Thanks. You too. I really enjoyed spending time with you. Thanks. And we will wait for you to visit us soon. Whenever you want. You and your parents are most welcome. Thanks. We will be waiting for you. Despite her complexes, Lisa is a normal child who just wants to be hugged and loved. I'm happy I got to live with this family because they are all very warm and transparent. They taught me a valuable lesson. We hope with that you realise that you need to help your parents. Of course. The rehabilitation of the 16-year-old daughter of millionaires from Soki in the Leontiu family with many children from Rasbitiu Kotel ends now. It's time for Lisa Strij to go home. It seems that Lisa does not want to leave us. She has become close to us. Bye, Lisa. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Before the experiment, Sergei and I 
I thought I didn't have enough energy, but I still have lots of it. And if Lisa and I have found a common language, I think I can definitely give my love to someone else. I saw how other people live. I saw how caring and sweet people can be. For some reason, I never looked at mum and appreciated this in her. Come to us again. Bye! I don't want Lisa to leave. She is very nice and kind. Bye! I love you. We love you too. According to the project's rules, Lisa can talk to their parents for the first time in four days when going home. Wow, hi! Hi, how are you doing? Good. We've missed you. I've missed you too. I thought so many things. I didn't understand how people could be happy without money. And now I've seen a good example, I met people who are kind, honest and thoughtful and who take care of each other and better care of animals. People can be happy by cherishing the small things, even if they had no money. I'm going to cry. I was very selfish towards you and I realised that I must help you. I want to help you. I want you to be proud of me and see me as an adult and a good daughter. My love, we love you very much. Hugs and Hugs kisses, and kisses. Lisa.